A patient underwent a major 14 hour long surgery in prone position and continues to be on ventilator during recovery. What is the advantage of positive end expiratory pressure in mechanical ventilation? The main reason why we use positive end expiratory pressure in the setting of mechanical ventilation is to keep the alveolar in a partially open state. This increases FRC and of course increase in FRC is going to increase oxygenation and gas exchange. And what is the advantage of keeping alveolar in a partially open state? So remember, uh, if you compare two balloons, which is, uh, one, let us assume one is partially inflated already and one is completely collapsed. You know that this is easier to open up further. It's easy to blow up. But this balloon, which is completely collapsed, is going to take a lot of initial energy to open up and then it becomes a bit easy. So if you look at the work of breathing, so this is much lesser in a partially inflated balloon. So you can remember that lungs are going to act like a balloon. And if you use a positive end expiratory pressure, it keeps the alveolar in a partially open state. That's technically going to reduce the work of breathing. And of course, it's going to increase the gas exchange. How it's going to do all these things by reversing a complete atelectasis and by preventing collapse. And in fact, this has another advantage, added advantage by reducing a form of trauma called as atelectotrauma. Because every time you completely collapse the lungs and if you inflate it again. So it's like crumbling a paper completely and opening up again. So this creates a lot of trauma in a diseased lung. So that's what we call as atelectotrauma. So by using PEEP, you can keep the lung in a partially open state so that you can prevent that complete collapse so that you can avoid that atelectotrauma as well. So the right answer for this question is a simple straightforward option A.